Hey, 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 this is Mrs. Shante Amber Kelly, CEO and founder and master trainer at Boss It Up Attraction Marketing and Business Automation, where we show you how to create boss-like, hey, multiple seven figures, getting your products, your services, and everything that you need to get people in front of so you can, hey, get sales, make money, get new business partners. We show you how to do that simple, easy, nobody does it like Boss It Up, and we only charge 10% compared to everybody else that's out there. So let's just get some training in here. We're listening to Jeff Lauder in the back. He is blowing it. He is making it happen. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's one of my um, favorite jazz artists. And so I'm going to talk a little loud so we can hear the music and hear me at the same time. This is going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel. So if you're on my YouTube channel, listening to this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you also, don't forget, don't forget to hit the little bell so that you will get alerts every time I upload some free classes. Hey, I've been blessed to make multiple seven figures in the industry of network marketing and as just a regular entrepreneur with my own products and services. So now all I'm doing now is relaxing with my Boaz, right? Hey, hey, hey. My elder michael kelly my husband and just enjoy it paying it forward so here we go here we go here we go a lot of people are saying to me miss kelly how do you stay so organized with every single thing that you do you got all kinds of stuff that you're out there training people on and you got like hundreds and hundreds of people that you're training at a time and groups of people you know in your in your company that you own and in the company that you are a founder and a president well presidential founder right and a co-owner of p trade global hey if you want to know how to really 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 have generational wealth a platform that teaches you everything from how to own and flip real estate, to how to have perfect credit, to how to have fitness and health and wellness in your life, wealth management, financial literacy, P Trade Global is your solution. Hey, listen, and you don't even have to recruit or tell anybody anything. You can just learn on a platform and what you learn, take it and monetize it. Hey, but if you're like me and most of the people that I have signed up with my company, you want to do both, right? You want to learn Forex and crypto and real real estate and all of that and you want to get compensated up to $140,000 and now listen to me $140,000 per month right for just inviting people to look at a little 10 minute video and following up with them and getting them started so it's a beautiful thing so let's jump right in here so I'm going to try to get close to the speakers so that you can hear me. I'm going to actually turn the music down just a little bit. All right, all right, all right. That's much better. So, okay, so the way I stay organized, I was, I was in another network marketing company with a very, very wealthy, very savvy African-American female. She was on me. She was like a drill sergeant. Yes, I ended up quitting the company because she was such, she was just, whoa, right? And every everything I posted, everything I wore from my eyelashes to this to that, she was just so controlling. And it just kind of like gave me a nasty taste in my mouth. And I went on and I stayed being a customer, but I didn't want to grow the business anymore because she was just on me and I couldn't get up under nobody else. It had to be her. So I said, you know what? This is just not for me. I'm a leader and she's talking to me like I'm a child. Yes, my ego probably paid a big part in it, but to the, at the end of the day, it was her. Trust me, I wasn't the only one complaining. So to make a long story short, I learned every single business I have ever been into, every single thing I have ever sold or learned or personal development. I took it all, 30 years of experience, and put it under one roof with Boss It Up Attraction Marketing. Check us out at www.bossitup.biz. Go through it with a fine-tooth comb. Make sure you got about 15 or so or 20 minutes of uninterrupted time before you look at it because I don't want you to miss anything. We are the best of 
of the best. And I have been able to boss up over 700 people in different industries all over the world. I've been able to train on stages and um, because I've advanced in my company, my team advanced, and I've been able to train on stages all over the world in front of tens of thousands of people. It's really, really a blessing. And so here we go. Let's jump into it. If you want to monetize, I mean, long money, that means that you don't just make spurts of money all the time. You're getting paid a minimum of 10 K a month, a minimum of 10 K a month. You want to make sure that you are organized, right? Because when you're organized, you can monetize. Why? Because you're harmonized. You are harmonized. There is nothing worse than hearing a statistic that only 90, excuse me, that 97% of people fail at trying to be entrepreneurs because they lack organization, right? They don't, they, they're all over the place. They got a bunch of proverbial half-eaten sandwiches all over their life. All of a sudden, them sandwiches start stinking. <laughs> People don't take you seriously. And this is why a lot of us get in that NFFL club, right? That means no friends and family left to buy from us or join us because we didn't hit them up from everything from Amway to Mary Kay and ACN and Organo Gold and everything in between, five links or whatever, you know, and everything in between. Those are some good companies, but here's the thing. You must, I repeat, you must be organized, right? So again, 97% of entrepreneurs on online, offline, mom and pop stores, it doesn't matter, they fail, right? Within the first year or two of business, they go under because they're 99 per 9 percent of 10 is a money issue. They don't have enough capital, right? They don't have the right team, right? And they're unorganized, unorganized within themselves, right? Got a bunch of unorganized chaos and well, no chaos is organized. Come on, somebody, but an organization within their mind, stinking thinking, holding on to old past thoughts and, you know, um, just can't move forward from different things like that, you know, low self esteem steam or the unorganized within their environment, the people, places, and things that they connect with on a regular basis. I tell people all the time, you tell me the top five people, places, and things that you hang out with and deal with and, and engage with the most, what you read, what you watch, who you talk to, right? Where you go, what, what are the activities that you do on a regular basis? And I can tell you why your life is the way that it is. Ooh, that was good. Listen to that very carefully. The top, write it down. If you got to stop this video, I advise you to stop it right now. Come on back. Come on back. Pause it and come back. And literally write down the top five people, places, and things that you hang out with, right? That you engage with, that you do, what you read, what you watch. Where do you go? What do you worship? What do you, where's your activities? Right, on a regular basis, right? And I can, and again, you can see. You'll be able to see for yourself, write it down and make it plain. As the scriptures would say, write it down and make it plain. You will see why your life is the way that it is, right? We want to be bosses. We want to be um, um, very successful. We want to be multimillionaires, all of that. Well, are you doing the things that multimillionaires do? Successful, holistic multimillionaires, not just rich in their bank, rich in their heart, rich in their mind, rich in the way that they speak life into others and help others. Are you doing that, right? What do you read? Are you reading at all? What do you do? Do you watch TV most of the time mindlessly? What are you eating? What are you putting into your system? And, and are you exercising on a regular basis? These are the things we have to ask ourselves before we get mad and have an attitude because we're not where we want to be. Hey, it's what you put in something is what you get out of it. So again, and then they organ unorganized within their money producing activities. They don't know what to do first, second, third, fourth. They don't know you know, when they should table something and move on and go get stretched and get a cold drink and, and go do something else or leave it alone for the whole day and don't return to it to the next day. They just don't know. They don't know their comp plans like they should, how many people should be in each leg if you're building an MLM, how much many clients do you need to see even if you got your own products that you sell, that you created in your kitchen or whatever, you sew, you make clothes, whatever, right? You need to know 
what type of money makes set realistic goals, right? 30 day goals, 90 day goals, six month goals, one year goals, five year goals, right? You got to set the goals, write it down and make it plain, make it simple. I'm telling you and follow it, follow it. It doesn't happen overnight, but the more you practice, the better you get, right? But if you don't know better, you can't do better. So Miss Kelly, again, I am known to write it plain and make it simple and help people boss up in every area of their life. So we'll, again, what we're going to be training on the day is Evernote. Write that down. E-V-E-R-N-O-T. Evernote, Evernote, Evernote. I'm going to tell you right now, this girl, she saved my life. She was a drill sergeant, got on my nerves, made me quit the company, you know, or whatever, or was a catalyst, I should say, of making me quit the company it was my final decision. She didn't make me quit the company was a catalyst, right? She paid a part of it. But to make a long story short, right, she showed me a lot of stuff. And I mean, it was meticulous. It was boot campish. It was, oh my God, I'm gonna pull my hair out. But I'm telling you, I took it, I ran with it, I learned and I applied it. And this is why I have the, such a very successful marketing, attraction marketing company right now, right? And why the MLM that I actually own now, come on, come on, co-own with some other amazing individuals, um, like-minded, boss-minded individuals who wanna leave a will and not a bill for their family. And I'm a presidential founder of, you know, you know, it's helping me to be able to grow a big team fast, a structure that's following a system because it's not about what you do. It's about what's duplicatable that's really going to help you grow a big team fast all over the world if your product or your service, your company, your opportunity is international because everybody is on the same page, right? Everybody is growing. We all a team. There is no I in T-E-A-M, right? Right? If one person is not pulling their weight, it damages the whole team. Boss up your mindset. It's not about, oh, that's my upline, and, and they just want me to bring people on to the overviews and do this and do that and follow the system. This is so because they can make more money. And no, 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 no. That is a punk mentality. That is a punk mentality. I'm going to say that again. And if I step on some toes, they probably need to be stepped on so you can walk better, right? Come on now. But that's a punk mentality. It's about in a non-team player mentality. It takes a village to raise a child. It does. We all give a little. We all have a lot. It's not about that because if, when you respect them, it's like the aura that you put off, the universe respect you. So now when you get junior business partners or a downline, whichever one you want to call it, they will see how you respect in your upline and they're going to say, oh, that's the way I do it, right? Because remember, it's not about your team doing what you say do. It's like your children, people that look up to you. It's not, they don't do what you say do, they do what they see you do. So if you're organized, if you question it, if you're bringing um, things to the table that you're supposed to be bringing to the table and all of that stuff, they're gonna think, oh, this is the way it's done. Okay, I wanna do that too. They are making a lot of money, they're being successful. Okay, let me do that too. And if you got a whole team that's pulling, everybody pulling, everybody pulling, who you think gonna win the war? Who you think gonna win the battle? Who you think gonna be walking the stage? And, and who you think gonna have the fat bank accounts and getting the company cars and all of the trip, winning the trips and different things like that? Because everybody is working as a fine tooth machine, a well oiled machine, right? Okay, so it's a beautiful thing. I don't know if you've seen the movie Drumline, but YouTube it or Google it so you know what I'm talking about. Drumline, drumline, drumline is absolutely amazing because the the uh band leader he says one band one sound i'm gonna say that again one band one sound there are no superstars there's nobody standing out no 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 i don't grow companies like that and i made millions over the years in network marketing because i i pushed that i, I instilled that in my people one band one sound when we win we all win okay it's not about who's above me and who below me it's about we are a team so one of the things that i do with my team whenever i bring somebody on or i'm or just in my regular life 
I stay organized. Hey, there is no way with all the things that happens when you're trying to build a business, you got a life, you got this, you may have a, a child, a family, you may have ministry, you may have other groups that you're involved in, and you got to take time out for yourself. Self-care is very, very, very important so you don't burn out, right? You have to love on yourself, right? So uh, it's only 24 hours in a day right so you have to be organized and module everything out and make sure that everything is at your fingertips so you're not searching all over the place because when we're unorganized we're unharmonized and we cannot make the money we cannot monetize the way we need to the brain is not equipped to take a whole lot of drama a whole lot of uh, uh, unorganization it's not equipped for that that's why people shut down or become ocd or you know depressed pressed and quitting and jumping from business to business to business. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, shake your head. I can't see you, but I can feel you. Shake your head. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? And maybe I may be even talking about you, but this is not a session to beat you up. This is a section to build you up and to boss you up. Okay, so go to YouTube and you want to type in Evernote, how to use Evernote, the basics of Evernote. So you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Or you can actually learn it from me, right? In one of my Boss It Up classes, because I don't teach anything what I teach an organization. Because so a per and, and mindset, it's all about the mindset, right? So a person think it's in their heart that's connected to their mind, so shall they be right? So if you're unorganized, your life's going to be unorganized, your business going to be unorganized, your family going to be unorganized. Yeah, exactly. And so everybody looking at you like you're supposed to be the leader and you all over the place and you don't, and you're not showing up on time and you're not doing the things that you're supposed to be doing simply because you're unorganized, you don't want to hinder someone else's success. You don't want to hinder someone else's walk when you don't have to, okay? You don't want to do it on purpose. So now to, to, to kind of solidify the strength in being organized boom here we go evernote so what you once you download it get the free version you don't have to upgrade get the free version you see right here on my phone it looks a little different on a computer but here's the beautiful thing whatever you put in your evernote on your phone it automatically updates on your computer your laptop your tablet whatever you have it on and vice versa if you're on your computer doing something it'll automatically update on your phone or your laptop you see where i'm going with this okay so now you downloaded it. You looked at a couple of videos on YouTube. You got the basics of it, okay? With this, it's one of them things on OJT. I mean, OT <laughs> on the job training, right? <laughs> OTJT on the job training, right? You have to practice this. It's not going to be something you weren't born learning how to do this, so there's no way, right? But here's the basics of it. Today, we're just going to talk about the basics. I'm going to do another one more detailed down the road, but this is the basics. So right here, you see where it says all notes. So anytime you just want to jot something down, hey, where did I park? You know, I'm at the mall, I'm at Walmart, I'm always forgetting where I parked at. When I get out of my car, I look around, I create a note. And I say, hey, I either voice text it in there or I type it in there, right? So say, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this says all notes. Now down here, you see where it's a little plus sign right here, right? This is how you add a note. You don't want to make a notebook. You just want to add a note, right? So with that said, you click on the plus sign, right? You can set a reminder for yourself. You can put an audio note in here. You can get attachment. If you got something you need to attach just so you can look at it, see, remember, handwrite it in here really quickly, something real quickly, take a picture of something, uh-oh. And so that's what I do. I'll take my camera, I'm getting out my car, and I'll see, I'll take a picture of where I'm at, the door I went into, and I'll take a picture of where I'm, where I'm parked. Or I can, or I can voice, voice text it in right here. So I know when I'm done shopping, I know exactly what door to go out of. I don't have to be searching for my car. I know exactly where it's at, right? So then, or I can take a picture, right? Or I can actually type the note. So say I want to just type a note. Just a quick note. I would hit, I would hit note. Right? And then right up here, it says no title. Okay? It says no title. You want to type in. The note you want to type in the note right here whatever that title of that note is whatever it is so you can remember it then you want to go down so say for instance i'm gonna say parking park 
parking spot. Okay. Right. And then I'm going to go down here in this area. This is the body. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say like uh, six rows down on on the right. Something that simple. You want to put a little more detail, put a little bit more detail, but that's it. And then I want to save the note. So I'm going to hit the little check mark that's up here. Bam, the note is saved, right? So now, when, I, when I'm done and I close my Evernote out and I go around, right, all I do is scroll. You see where it's at right here, the little Evernote. I click on it. I click on all notes. And this was my last note. I click on it. And it'll open up and it'll tell me exactly where I park. Six rows down on the right, right? My parking spot. So there you go right there, okay? So you can put any kind of note, whatever you want to put that you know you need at a at, need to be at the, the tip of your fingers so you won't forget. Now, what's super cool is, say I'm going to go back to that note. So say, for instance, I want to write a note that tells me I need to be somewhere at a certain time. So I use Google Calendar sometimes for a lot of things and I use my Evernote. So say if I'm going to the grocery store, say, no, just say I need to go, I have a doctor's appointment. Doctor's appointment, okay? Um, whatever type of doctor's appointment it is, just say eye doctor. Just put up here eye doctor, E-Y-E. I, ooh, I can spell E-Y-E, right? I doctor appointment. I put in here exactly what time it is, what day. So just say it's Tuesday. Tuesday and say it's July 20th, okay, at 4 p.m., okay, Eastern Standard Time, right? So now you see right here where there's a little clock. Uh-huh. So you already know where I'm probably going with this, right? I'm going to tap the clock, right? And I'm going to set a date. Or I'm a clear the reminder, mark is done, whichever. So I'm gonna set a date. So I know on that date, and I said it was the what what day did I say it was? So let's come up out of this. Let's go cancel. So I'm gonna it said it was Tuesday, July the 20th. Okay, so I'm gonna say hit the clock, set a date, and I'm gonna say Tuesday, July the 20th, right? Time. And I'm gonna say it's four o'clock. But I, yeah, so, but I'm going to set it about 15 minutes early so I won't be late, right? So I'm going to say like 3.45 p.m., right? And I'm going to save it. What's going to happen is when it gets to that time, just like my alarm clock go off on my, on my table or whatever, or my nightstand, this is just going to go off. In, 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 in. Make sure that you're on your, you go to your settings on your phone and go under apps and make sure your Evernote is enabled for you to get alerts. Any app that you want it from your email to your messenger, whatever. Any app that you know that you need an alert for, make sure that you go into your settings. Hey, that was a free golden nugget. Go into your settings and set it. Because if you don't give your phone permission, it will not alert you. If you do not enable it, it will not alert you. Okay, so now I got that. I'm going click to click it and it's set. Boom. Okay. So say, for instance, you're in a company, say you're an ABC company and you got a lot of information. You got a comp plan, you got uh, different trainings, you got uh, uh, links to sign people up with, you know, so you can make some money in the business and so on and so forth. What you want to do then is you want to create a notebook. We create notebooks when we know we're going to have multiple tasks under one subject multiple tasks under one subject. So the way you do it, you click the, the, the little lines up at the top. That's what I did. I'm going to go back so you can see these little lines up here. I clicked it. It opened up the drop down menu and I hit notebook. I mean, a three year old can do this. You see the little picture of a notebook right here? Yes. Look, look right there. You see it? Okay, great. Next to the magnifying glass. Just remember it's next to the magnifying glass. Right. No, on your tap on your on your uh, computer or laptop, it may look a little different, but it's still going to be an icon of a notebook. You click that, right, and you name a notebook. So say I'm an ABC company, okay, whatever the name of your company is, 
hit okay. You see, I typed that in, you hit okay right there. Hit okay. Now I've created a notebook. So I know nope, I don't want to upgrade, you don't have to. But see, my notebook is empty, right? Here, I want to add something. Say I got login, I got a login link. Excuse me, I got a login, um, um, my username and my password. That's the first note. And right, they should be in your Evernote for ABC. You want to make sure you're able to log in. So you click there, right down here where it says text note. Click text note. And then you put, you type up right up in here where it says note title. You type right here, login. Right? And then you come into the body right and you put in whatever your username is right you type that in so user name right and then you can put in whatever it is say it's a c-a-s-j-j-j whatever boom do you want to put in your passwords oh it is very important to create a note that says all passwords. That way you, uh, you can just scroll or you can create a notebook that says all passwords and then create a separate individual note for each thing you gotta remember. We got passwords to everything, right? Everything. You wanna be organized. So now you can go to the password notebook and you can just click on whatever apparatus that you need to password for this way you never ever ever lose your passwords and your logins and they're right at your fingertips right so then you put your password in da, 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 whatever that is right and you save it by hitting the thing right so now i'm still in that notebook i'm gonna go back i'm still in that notebook say the very next thing is my my uh uh referral link so as I make money when I refer people, right? So you hit the little plus sign, you hit take notes, right up where it says notes, you type in referral link. Right, and then you drop your link. You grab it from the, your back office or your company and you drop it here. So that way, no matter what, right? You got your link. Somebody wants your link. You don't have to look all over the world for it. It's right there. You guys are getting the concept of this, right? So then I do the check mark after my link is in there. Then the next thing I may want to put in there is my Zoom link. Say if they, we have corporate Zooms at specific times of day to so invite guests to, right? We got corporate trainings at different times of days, right? Whatever it is, you can create a note for it. So if it's a, it's a, a let's just say overview, Overview Zoom. I spelled that wrong. Overview -E Zoom. Okay. Zoom, right? Boom. Then you go in here and you drop the Zoom link. You drop the times, the days, and the Zoom link, right? And remember, you can always what? Set a reminder right there so you never are late for the Zoom link, for the Zoom overviews and different things like that, right? And you can, uh, it'll be right at your fingertips to give to your prospects so you're not looking all over the world for it. Okay, beautiful thing. Boom. So you got that note. The next note you'll probably want to put in there is like your training, the days and times of your training and the link for your training. Put that in there. If they get put out flyers or something like that, create a note that says flyers. Oh, this is good, y'all. Y'all, this is good. If you get, if you're in my class, boss it up. I require everyone to create a notebook for their boss it up training because I give scripts, I give golden nuggets, I give uh, uh, cheat sheets and different things like that. You can down, download it, that I give it to you, and then you can just take it and upload it. So, say for instance, um, I got, I'm gonna create a note. And it's gonna say flyers, okay, for whatever. You can hit the little right here, the little paper clip for attachment, click that. And it's gonna open up your files where you wanted the photos. Is it in your is it in your file drive? Where is it at? Okay, so just say it's in my photos. So I'm gonna click on photos. Okay, so say this is this is a flyer right here. So I'm gonna click on the flyer. Boom, it's in there. Okay, I'm gonna remove that. Oh, 
Okay, my, my internet, there it goes, bam, it's running kind of slow. So now there's my flyer. One of my team members, um, my junior uh, business partners, um, or downline, whichever one you want to call it, all of my people are required to have a grand opening launch of their business. I give them a soft launch and a hard launch. The soft launch is the day that they come in. Within 24 hours of them coming in my business, I make sure that they're in a soft launch. What is a soft launch? The soft launch is explaining to them what they need to do first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I do a Zoom. I go into the back office. I walk through all the tabs of their back office. You see why I'm going with this? Right. I help them. You want to make sure that you give your new people every opportunity to score, every opportunity to win. And one of the things that stops people is that when they come in again, they're unorganized. They don't know, they don't know what to do for, even if they've been in other businesses, they're still babes in your business. Don't let them tell you, oh, I got this, I got it, I got it. No, 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 no. They're babes. You have to hold their hand without them knowing that you're holding their hand, if that makes sense, right? Right, there you go. And you, right. So what I do is I literally have an Evernote that says uh, uh, fast start, right? And everything that's uh, required in that business to win is in that step one, do this first. Step two, do this. Day one, do this. Day two, do that. It have the Zoom links in there. It has the, the you know, um, explaining to them different things like that. I have a couple of YouTube training videos that I did for them, for my whole team in there. So now all I got to do, so say I want to share a note. Say this is the note. And in this note, it got step one, step two, step three for my people. Don't just plug your people into corporate training. But keep your finger on the pulse of your downline. Because most people can sign folks up, but they can't keep them because the people don't get a win quick enough. A win is organized. A win is having people show up. A win is every little thing they do that's, that's pushing towards the future, that's progressing them, right? And it's getting them closer to the goal of making money is a win. And you celebrate, celebrate every single win, right? So say this is a note and it has step one, step two, step three, whatever. I want to share it with my new person that came in. Let me go back so you'll see where I'm at right here. This little share thing, you see it? There you go. I click that. I type in their name or their email if they're already in my Evernote connected. We all connected on Evernote. I try to make sure all my team is connected on Evernote so that I can send them little information along with having like a Facebook group or a Facebook chat that I can drop important information in. We can celebrate wins and different things like that. But I have them connected to Evernote as well. The more organized your people are, the easier and quicker it is for them to win. And, and, it's, more, and it's very duplicatable and they can pass it down to their team. That way you don't have to be all over the place. Nine million people calling you, what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next? You, you don't have to have that. That is non-productive. That's a, that is a non-professional way, an unprofessional way of doing things. You want to boss up and be top professionals, right? It doesn't happen overnight, but as long as you're practicing and trying, it will happen. And again, people don't do what you say, do, excuse me, they don't do what they, right, they don't do what you say, they do what they see you doing, and you the leader, right? So whatever you do, they gonna do. So you can't get mad at them for not signing people up and recruiting people if you're not doing it. That's when Miss Kelly's boss it up come in. So if you're in that NFFL club, you know, went through your warm market, you definitely want to get with me so I can show you how to reach out to the 3.5 billion consumers who are on social media every month. Hey, you guys, that is it for this training. So again, you would just put their name in. So say if it's an email. Okay, the period boss period lady period uh 1965 at gmail.com so they don't even have to have evernote right they don't even have to have evernote for you to email them evernote or you can hit the shareable link see how i hit that link and it lit up right there you can click that and now it's on my clipboard and all i got to do is copy it and it's just paste it to them right? Paste it into their, their text message, their email, their, their uh, messenger, whatever. Or you can just do this. You can turn the shareable link off. Okay. 
go here right you got to click you got to hit the enter key so that 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 that'll pop up like it did i hit the enter key and that's what made that pop up and then all you got to do is hit that little arrow right up in there and boom it sends it to him right right and i needed to send that to myself anyway so that i can help her get a lot of people on her on her grant in her grand opening she's inviting people her upline i'm i'm her upline i'm inviting people so when, even if she only can invite 10 people people are going to think it's a whole lot of other people and that we we're a team each one reach one teach one to bless one right so we come on there to support we don't invite guests or nothing we just come on there to support okay boom bam boom that's every note god that's the basics of evernote as you see i got all everything i do i got a note or i got a notebook i got a note or i got a notebook that way all i gotta do once again when i need something click on the icon click over here on the side of them and scroll down to whatever i need all right, all right, all right. I pray this helped you organize to be harmonized so you can monetize. This is Mrs. Shantae Amber Kelly, your boss it up queen, right? Your OG boss it up queen. And as I always, always say, I will never, ever, ever look down on anyone, anyone, unless I'm picking them up, praying them up, and bossing them up. Hey, stick with me. Make sure you comment. Leave some comments at the bottom. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you'll get my other free trainings. Share, share, share these trainings with other people. Everybody knows someone who would love to get some free training so that they can boss up themselves, to boss up their business, and, and initially, I mean, and at the end of the day, boss up their bank account. God bless everyone. Boss up.